Helen, and we are here in Hawaii Studio for our tip of the week video. And today we are talking about balance. Balance is an incredibly important uh, skill to have, especially as you age. The better your balance is, the less likely you are at risk to fall and injure yourself. But of course, a lot of sports use balance as a skill, and a lot of other activities require balance as well. Uh, so it is important for everybody to make sure that they are working on maintaining and improving their balance. So we're going to talk about three different ways you can maintain and improve your balance using uh, some of the equipment here in the Pilates studio, as well as some equipment you might have at home. So the first exercise I'm going to show you is the simplest, it's the least challenging, and it's the one you might actually be able to do at home because of Basically, all we're going to use our Pilates equipment for is to hold onto to give us a sense of stability. So you can see in front of me, I've got a BOSU ball, um, and we're just going to do a simple step up. Now, if you don't have a BOSU ball at home, anything that has an unstable or uneven surface can work just as well. Um, and the higher the surface is, the more challenging this will be. So feel free to find a height um, and a surface that works for you. So we're going to stand facing the uh, Cadillac. We're going to put one foot on the very center of that boosy ball, and we're going to reach our arms out in front of us so that when we stand up on one leg, we can just place our fingertips nice and easily on the upright, and then release as we come down. We're stepping up and coming down. And of course, if you want to situate yourself so that you can hold on to the upright, um, you might be able to use a door frame or a countertop or something like that instead of a Cadillac. But if you want to situate yourself so that you are holding on the entire time, that would be a way to make this even a little easier, even a little less challenging. So our next exercise takes the difficulty up a notch, and it includes uh, our chair, which you can see here to my left and what we call a long box, which is under my right foot. And you might be able to notice already that I am finding a little trouble balancing here, and that's because my left foot is on a surface that can move. This pedal that's underneath my foot has uh, springs attached to it, so without too much effort, it can start to sort of get a little precarious up here. Moving surfaces are a great way to challenge your balance, as is this little bit of height. So because I'm standing on a higher surface, it automatically just makes everything a little bit more challenging. So what we're doing here is called a pedal press. Um, and you can do it one of two ways. Keeping the torso upright and the core engaged, you can work on bending and straightening the leg that is on the pedal. And depending on how much resistance you have set up on that pedal, this could also be challenging for the quadriceps or for the hamstrings. And then you could also bend and straighten the leg that is on the box. And as you might notice, this is the one that challenges my balance the most. Some people find it a little bit easier. I tend to have a little bit of a oh, tough time of it. But you, because you are on an unstable surface, are again challenging your balance, strengthening your hips and glutes as well. So the final exercise I'm going to show you today is using our reformer, and it is an exercise called standing side splits. And don't let the name intimidate you. We're not going to be doing splits at all, um, but this does work on balance by A, elevating you up off the ground, which always makes balance a little trickier, and B, putting you on a moving piece of equipment. So we're going to step up on the reformer. For safety reasons, we always want to step up on the platform first because the carriage is the part of the reformer that moves. So once we've got one foot on the platform, one foot on the carriage, our arms are down by our sides, we're going to exhale, press the carriage out, and inhale, come back in. Exhale, press out. Inhale, come back in. Try to maintain an upright torso as we move. And depending on how much resistance you have on the reformer at any given time, you could be working your outer hips or your inner thighs as well, of course, as challenging your balance.